Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. So, guess what? Gemini, it is finally time for your December reading. Let's get them thrown down for you. Okay. This reading we're for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay too. You can check your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Hi, dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate everyone stopping by to say hello. If you are new here, I think you might vibe with me and we're gonna get along and stuff you can hit the subscribe button the notification bell that'd be super cool of you if you're returning to the channel welcome back it's always nice to see a familiar face anybody can hit the like button at any time it is all very much appreciated it does help the channel grow and it helps the messages to be circulated to those who may need them we're gonna address this real quick before i invoke the cards the Lovers, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Two of Swords. Hmm. Could be another Gemini. Could be a Virgo involved. Libra. Uh, wow, okay. A lot of Earth and a lot of air there. Hmm. Wow. Possibly a choice to be made friends. We're going to see if any of these come back out. Some of you may have some reflecting to do to get the clarity that you need to make a decision. Okay, we're going to shuffle those back in. See if they come back out. Two quick things before I invoke the cards. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. Mine or somebody else's. And it's not your reading, not your story, not your message. Put the cards in the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. It is, like, super dark. Hold on. just realized how dark it is. That is oodles better, don't you think? All right. Give these one more shuffle. And another cut. Okay. Talk to me about Gemini. Four of Swords. Mm. Huh. You're taking a break. But either you've noticed someone or someone has noticed you. Okay. Let's scoot these over so everybody's visible. Hmm. Endings, new beginnings, messages, a lot of fire. It's a whole lot of Leo energy, huh? Could be dealing with a Leo. Leo. 
Four of Swords, that's Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune, that's all the fixed signs, so Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus. Hmm, all right. Okay, now I know why you're resting. Missed opportunity. Still juggling. High Priestess reversed. Wounded Ego. Really? Really, old man? Really? Did you see that? Just very cavalierly <laughs> walked in across the Chromebook. <laughs> You're not going outside. I don't care. He does what he wants. Talk to me. Universe, source, spirit guides. Talk to me. What am I seeing here? You hold a cup for somebody. That's why you're resting. I feel like someone may have ignored your cup. Or you ignored their cup. Take it however it resonates. Talk to me about this four of cups reversed. We're going to address the why before we address what's about to happen. Talk to me about this four of cups. Strength held back. Hierophant reversed, one card. Hierophant reversed, one card. Nine of Swords reversed. Oh, you tried to ignore it. Tried to act like it didn't bother you. Empress reversed. It didn't take, it didn't grow, missed opportunity. Maybe you weren't ready for commitment. Maybe somebody wasn't ready for commitment. The world, it just came to an end. Okay, hold on, because obviously the old man is in need of something, and he's not telling me. One second. Sorry, when he does that, he either wants food or attention, and in this case, it was food. Anyway. Um, yeah, so with this world card, I think it just let it come to an end and let it go. I, I feel a sense of missed opportunity though with this death card reversed. Talk to me about the death card reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> okay. Conflict. Could have been inner conflict. I think deep down somebody didn't want things to change or somebody didn't want to be single. There was inner conflict going on. It may have been a conflict amongst you. That's why the cup was being ignored and there was holding back. 
All right, we're going to move up into the now. Talk to me about the Six of Wands. What's up with the Six of Wands? Um... There goes Tony Braxton. <laughs> Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Oh God. You're in, somebody came back. Oh shit. All right, seven of wands. Seven of wands. Knight of Pentacles. Possibly a little confrontational or standoffish. Two of wands, king of wands, whole lot of wands. You moved on and walked away, and all of a sudden, here they come. One on the king. One on the king of wands. Nine of wands reversed. Hmm. It's not very often the King of Wands says, lay your weapons down. Hmm. Maybe the wands do come tumbling down. Maybe you're just like, you know what? I threw the towel in on this. What's up? Why the Knight of Wands? Why the Knight of Wands? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Some truth. That's some truth. Wow. Huh. Maybe one more on that. Splits the story a little bit. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, that's the shove it card. Um, I feel like maybe possibly, yeah. There's th three knights on this table. You're just like, you know what? Um, stunning offer you're presenting to me, but I feel like I'm worth more. Speaking truth. And this is where you can shove your pentacle. Apology not accepted. Okay. Okay. Because they've darted in and out of your life. Or some of you have started something new already. And you've laid this to rest, and that's why you're not interested. Why the wheel? Why the wheel? Why the wheel? Oh gosh, that's a lot of cards. Ace of Cups. Oh, well they all tell a story, so we're going to take them all. Okay. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles... Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. That's a lot of cups. You're, you're bringing this to an end. You're starting something new. You're directing your energy elsewhere. You're spending time with friends. You're spending time with you. You're exploring your options. You feel a deep soul connection to this person, but... Four of Cups, Four of Cups...
haven't quite let that go yet, have you? Wounded ego. So talk to me about this Two of Pentacles reversed for the outcome. Two of Cups. Ace of Wands. go with this new thing or do I take the wand one of the three pentacles queen of wands ten of swords reverse Ten of Swords reversed being laying something painful to rest and allowing a new day to dawn. I've done built new foundations for myself with someone else. Why am I going to let you come back? Seven of Pentacles. I, I have invested my time and my energy elsewhere. Talk to me about this Queen of Wands. Temperance reversed. The Queen of Wands knows what's up. She knows what she wants. She goes after it. And she doesn't want negative energy. She wants things to flow the way she wants them to flow. And quite frankly, you interrupted her flow. <laughs> and if you are the embodiment of the Queen of Wands, somebody interrupted your flow. Chariots, forward movement. Possibly a little bit jilted. I need to go get a couple of decks. I feel like a horse is behind right now because I'm not ready. I'll be right back. We're pausing again. Okay, where was I? All right. Crystal power. Me a couple crystal powers for my Gemini friends. Queen of Wands. I am naturally creative. Nine of Pentacles. I take the time I need to nurture myself. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I focus on what I want and make it happen. What was I just saying? What was I just saying? Two of Wands. Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Could have swore it was somewhere. Oh, it's in the reverse down here. Hmm, what? Oh, Wisdom Oracle. Let's do a Wisdom Oracle.
Milk and honey. 51, 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 36, come to the edge. 3 plus 6 is 9. Bottom of the deck, flexible. 1 plus 9 is 10. <clears throat> Balance, contentment, and endings to new beginnings. Number 51, milk and honey. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment not wanting, yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Is you're taking the time you need to nurture yourself. Absolutely. Okay. Come to the edge, number 36. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present. So let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Somebody needed that. Number 19, flexible. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Where as a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it is in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you, too. Hmm. I did not grab the Archangel Michael bag. Okay, well. I guess we'll get a major, for, we'll get a card from the Golden, since I have the whole deck here. Don't bust this. You know what? This probably happened for a reason. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Eight of Pentacles. I can't count. That's the Eight of Pentacles. I apologize. Still. Nice. You're working on yourself. I like it. Six of Rods. Declaring victory. Five of rods. Through the chaos and the conflict. Okay. Okay, guys. 
I'm calling it a read. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Gemini's. I will catch you guys next time for round two, December. Hopefully before Christmas. Take care. Peace, love, and light.